Six. How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Happy Thanksgiving to you. I'm Paul C. Carla. Hey, one thing tens of thousands of Tucsonans are thankful about the Dallas Cowboys and the holidays. That's right. Thanksgiving and game day go hand in hand with the Cowboys and no doubt even a team from Texas, the Cowboys rivals local teams in Arizona like the Cardinals and popularity and the adopted team for many Tucsonans. The Cowboys would host Washington, but <laughs> it'll be all Washington, my friends. How about Montez Sweat tapping and intercepting Andy Dalton and he will take it the other way. Bye bye. I'll do something. He goes, ciao for now. Laters. Cowboys lose big 41 16. Another traditional team on Thanksgiving. The Lions and Texans also smacked helmets. Detroit's up by a touchdown, trying to add to the lead, but JJ Watt says, no, 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 no. That's an interception. He will head the other way for the pick six. You saw it. The Texans will eventually win quite easily 41 to 25. All right, in hoops, number one Gonzaga took on sixth ranked Kansas at the Fort Myer tip off. And the Zags, Jalen Suggs, was playing cops and robbers. First the steal, then the chase, now the getaway. Gonzaga would go up by double digits, never look back, cruising to the 102 90 victory. Suggs had 24 points, eight assists, and four rebounds. Meanwhile, the Arizona men's basketball team is gearing up for its season opener against Grambling State. That's tomorrow. And during these COVID-19 times, players are having a smaller, not so public, not so indoor celebration, even when it's not Thanksgiving, just grabbing some grub, staying away from public eateries and keeping it real at home. Wildcats like forward I release say they wouldn't have it any other way. I'm a guy that's kind of scared of COVID, so I stay in the house. I go to the gym and come back home, but I recommend, recommend spots. Um, I have the guys come over some nights. I'll cook, cook dinner for them. You know, we'll have like a Uno night. Um, but that, that's about it. That's how it is during a, t a pandemic. All right, tip off tomorrow at McHale for Ira Lee and the Cats, 3 p.m. Meanwhile, the Arizona Wildcat football team is heading into the holiday weekend with one goal in mind, beating UCLA on Saturday and preventing the school record losing streak in football to getting to 10 games. It's a streak that's lasted well over a year. Get this. The Wildcats haven't won a football game in 418 days. The last victory for the Cats was October 5th, 2019 against Colorado. To be fair, if not for the coronavirus cancellations, Arizona would have taken on Hawaii and Portland State this season and probably would have ended the losing streak. Now, if Arizona isn't able to take home a victory against UCLA this Saturday, the Wildcats have two more regular season opportunities with matchups against Colorado and Arizona State. That said, Coach Sumlin says, that dreaded nine game losing streak isn't on the players. It's on him to own it. The losing streak for me is different. I'm the, I, I'm the common dominator in that. So that's what that looks like. Everybody can talk about how long it is, but there's a hell of a lot of players who are playing um, Saturday night that had nothing to do with last year. I mean, a lot of them. So we can lump it all into everything, but you just lump that on me because in, in the end, my name's up. Everybody's disappointed. Um, everybody's nobody's happy, right? The coaches, players. I mean, we're expecting to win. We don't want to lose. We don't want to be blown out. We're expecting to win, and we thought we were going to win. We're prepared like we we're going to win, and we need to win. So, uh, we're you know, sucks because we want to win. Certainly do, and quickly another cancellation because of COVID-19 concerns in the Pac-12. USC's game against Colorado has officially been canceled. Here at home, even with the cancellations for most high school sports in the Tucson area because of the coronavirus, no worries. We will still have a Friday football fever playoff edition in less than 24 hours. Teams such as South Point, Benson High School, and Push Ridge are all in the postseason and have elected to play ball despite coronavirus concerns. That's it for now. I'm Paul Sikala for News 4 Tucson Sports. Have a positive, productive Thanksgiving, at least the rest of it, filled with lots of stuffing. We'll be right back.